What's up my friends, welcome back! So as you know months back I started this radio controlled badass tank series. There I've shown you an example of the tank that I had back then. The construction of that tank was pretty easy. Just cut some acrylic board, drill some holes and put some wheels with a pull track system and we are done. That tank had a lot of problems and it was a very crude example. So since then I've been working on a 3D real replica of a mega awesome huge badass Tiger 1 tank. So, this is my beauty. Pretty cool, huh? Ok, so we saw how to create an RC transmitter using the NRF24 module with an Arduino and how to create an H-bridge that will control our motors. All is left now is to build our tank, the radio receiver and this project will be done. So, today I will show you how to build a Tiger 1 3D printed badass tank. But as you can see, this part of the tutorial is just for those who own a 3D printer and want to build themselves a nice real replica of this tank. If you don't have a 3D printer, skip this part if you want and just build a nice two wheel tank like this one. Anyway, I recommend you to watch the entire series because this tank will be awesome. So what your tank needs is a pair of DC motors with some wheels, one for each side. You know that the basic movement of a tank is turning to left or right just by spinning his wheels one in the opposite way of the other. So let's start with this 3D building tutorial. Ok, so we have all the 3D parts in an STL format ready to download on my webpage. The link is in the description down below as always. You just go there and download the zip file. When you extract that file you will find some subfolders. I've tried to divide the tank in 5 parts. Those parts are the main bottom base frame, the entire top frame, the track system, the turret and cannon and finally all the small details that you have to print separately. You will also find the fully mounted tank where you can see all the parts joined together and you will know where to put every one of the 3D parts. Ok, so the first thing that we will build is the main bottom base of the tank which is kind of a rectangular box. Because this part has to be very strong and it's very big, I build mine from wood. If you go in the bottom frame folder, you will find there all the dimensions that you need in order to cut the wood board. I've used 3mm thick wood board. I've printed on some A4 size paper the dimension that you will find in the downloaded bottom frame folder. I've glued those papers on the wood board in order to cut them to the desired dimension. After cutting the parts, I drilled all the holes using the same printed paper glued to the wood board and using 3mm drills. These are all the wood parts. As you can see, I've cut some wood cubes as well. I've used those small cubes as limit to make sure that I will have 90 degrees between the glued parts and to make a more solid shoulder between the parts. We we'll have to let the glue to dry, so I've let the base to dry for the entire day under pressure using some heavy batteries. The bottom base is glued and ready. Using the dots from the printed paper I made a small dot where each of the screw will fit in. In this way I can remove the printed paper in order to carefully drill all the holes. I fit in place a long 3mm screw in each hole and I glue 4 wood cubes around the screw inside of the base box. This will give a better screw rotation and stability. Finally I paint the base using grey acrylic paint. I drill a 8mm hole for the gear wheel and I rudely glue in place the two geared motors. Ok, now the bottom base is ready. We next build the track system. We print all the wheels and tracks. There is a total of 8 middle, 16 interior and 16 exterior wheels, 2 geared wheels, 2 tension wheels and 8 spacers. I've used more than 200 tracks and I spent about 2 hours of printing time for each 12, so imagine the total hours for this entire project. You will have to use support material for those two geared wheels and I recommend you to print them using ABS because it's better when using support material. The rest of the parts are made of PLA. I've put between parentheses how many parts you have to print in each part name that you will find in the downloaded folders and if you have to use support material or not as well. For the print settings I've used 4 perimeters, 25% infill for each part and a 0.3mm extruder. I've also painted the wheels with metallic grey paint. Ok, now that we have all the 3D parts for the track system, we start joining together each track. Using a 0.5mm solid wire we have to join one by one each track, just like this. I've used about 100 tracks for each side. 
put 3 or 4 extra ones that you could take off when you mount the wheels to the main bottom base. We put in place a 20cm long 3mm screw in each of the 9 holes. After that comes a washer for all the screws. We first add the back wheel. After that the spacers followed by the middle wheel and finally the front wheel. We put another washer and a screw with a little bit of glue. We glue the gear wheel to the DC motor shaft. You can see that I've let out the tension wheel for now because we first had to add the tracks. Measure the length, add or remove tracks if necessary and finally screw in place the tension wheel. The gear system is ready. It's now time for the top frame. We print all the parts in the top frame folder. We glue the parts and mount the top frame. Paint them if you want. We glue together the skirts and glue them on each side of the top frame. We glue together the three back doors and vents, paint them and put them in place. We glue the front gun part, the front logo and the four small skirts. We add the middle and front top, but we don't glue them. You can see that the middle top has three holes in it. We will fit the turret in those holes, so don't glue anything yet. If you have printed all the details, you can glue them to the top frame to make it look more realistic. Add the rear exhaust and details and the top frame is ready. You can always glue some strong plastic on the back of each part to make the tank case stronger. We finally build the tank turret and cannon. Print all the files from the turret folder and the turret details as well. Glue together the two main turret parts. Add and glue the first turret top but don't glue the second one yet. Add the turret storage and all the details. Add some tracks on the side to make it look better. Print the turret base and add a 22mm bearing. Print and glue the turret shaft inside the turret. Add and glue the gear circle. Close the turret together with the base and put in place the servo motor with the gear screw to it. Once you find a good place for the motor, glue it to the base. This servo motor is hacked in order to spin continuously. Glue the two hinges to the cannon holder and screw it in place. Add a servo motor to the small main turret and using a solid wire transfer the movement to the cannon support. Now print and glue the cannon in place. Add all the details and the turret is ready. Put the turret in place with 3 screws and the 3D badass tank is ready. Add more details to make it look better. It's now time to add all the electronics inside it. In the next video we will see how to set up our receiver, connect the Arduino to the servo motors and the H bridge and start moving the tank. I hope you like this video, make sure you follow all the steps and check my webpage for more details. And see this video's description as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.